How's it going, everybody? Bearded at midnight. You guys want to check out some beard stuff? I do. Let's get into it. Let's go on this adventure. Get in the car. Hop in. Don't worry about the seatbelt. It's broken. So, first uh, order of business. This right here. This bag contains awesome, awesome product by a very cool man named David. I think everybody's going to know this. Luxurious bastard. Very good company. Um, very satisfied. I have to say this is my first oil that I bought. Not the first oil that I used. Um, about two days before this uh, package came in the mail, I um, couldn't wait, so I bought another oil at Walmart and uh, used that, but just recently found out about beard products about four months ago. Um, I've had a beard, goatee, stuff all my life, but uh, this one that I have right now is the best looking one, best... Uh, healthy one I've ever had. There's not one split end in this whole mess of beard hair I got here. And uh, as a first beard oil that I got, I, uh, I gotta say I, it's quite impressive. Um, I just love it. And the whole the whole company itself, uh, pretty much one man show I believe is uh, Mr. Luxurious David uh, Gar Gardreau. I think that's how you pronounce his last name. If I uh, mess that up, David, I'm sorry. Um, so far, the experience that I've had with him has been just top class. Um, very, very quick to get a hold of. Um, my first order, I ordered two bottles and uh, a matching beard balm. Um, he only sent one, and uh, it was just an oversight in the paperwork. And uh, he works long hours, and you know it was no big deal. I got a hold of him. He got a you know back and hold of me within. I'd say less than less than an hour he got back to me and fixed everything and then even sent me a little little beard comb as a just a little the cherry on top but um this stuff right here 1912 bastard this is actually my second bottle of it that I've ordered from him the first two I ordered I kept one and gave one to my brother but this stuff right here is absolutely amazing. Um, my wife loves it. I love it. I wear it almost. Oh, I was wearing it every day. I recently, you know, got some more oils to check out. But what the cool thing I like about this is here's my first one I got. I like how the label wears. It looks vintage. It looks like it's from 1912, and it's just an all-around cool bottle. Um, the packaging, it's it's very cool. It's one that you want to save. I mean, it just, it looks cool. And here's the first beard balm I got, the can. They are empty. So, but good thing I got a replacement. Bam, that's what they look like new. Very nice labels. They're paper. They, they absorb the oil, they, you know, I keep my stuff in the bathroom sometimes, you know, mist from the shower gets on them, but the smell, it's phenomenal. It's, uh, you know, it smells a lot different out of the bottle than when you actually, you know, put it in your beard and let it, let it breathe a little bit. You get all the, the hidden aromas that make your beard so luxurious. Um, I love it. It's yellow, amberish consistency. Um, and I have to, I use quite a bit of it. Um, it's nice. Uh, my, my beard is super porous. Um, it absorbs oils like, like nothing. I'm fresh out of the shower. Um, I co-wash every day. Um, I 
wash my beard twice a week. Um, I work in, I own a janitorial company and I work in medical facilities cleaning medical stuff and so I, and I have children and stuff and so there's a lot of stuff that could possibly be in my beard so um, you never know what stuff you bring home with you so I, I try to keep it as, as clean as possible so I don't have any hospital funk on my face. Um, I love it that I smell. I can't even, it's so complex. Um, I smell a little bit of, I guess it would say cinnamon, um, leather. The description um, on the website says, uh, you know, you walk into an old shop, you get the burlap sacks and, and the hemp sacks and coffee and all that stuff. And, and as the day goes on, you really you get you get different phases of it. At first, it's 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 a pretty powerful scent. It's long lasting. Um, I don't know if I'd call it a cologne or not, but the scent is is just amazing. Um, my wife loves it. Absolutely loves it. Um, kids love it. Mom liked it. First first time I wore it over to my mom's house before she really even said hi, she came up to give me a hug and she asked. Uh, what cologne I was wearing or what, what scent I was wearing. I, I told her that I was wearing the 1912 Bastard. And, uh, and she liked it. It's a hit. Every, you know, the the people that I deal with that have uh, noticed it, I haven't gotten any complaints. Um, and yeah, it goes in real smooth. It lasts a long time. It takes care of my beard. I have a real coarse, real, real super dense, coarse beard. Um, and it keeps it feeling nice and smooth and silky all day. The balm, the white balm, kind of yellowy, I guess, um, has a stronger hold than pretty much anything that I've tried. And I get it out like this just because it uh, makes it easier to apply for me. It kind of just breaks it up a little bit better for you. Um, But my beard will pretty much stay like this, all fluffed out, if I don't have a good balm. Emulsify is really good. And uh, usually I take a little bit more time to style this, but for you guys' sake, I put it in and it will keep my, uh, my Brillo pad pretty much styled and shaped all day. Um, I use my daughter's detangler. Uh, I got some stuff coming in the mail to help out with this, but for now, I broke my, my other beard brush comb. Comb, I guess you'd call it. Uh, this thing works fine. I never get no snags. Um, and uh, I hit it with a boar's hair brush. And this balm just, it keeps it down. I like this harder balm. I've tried a couple others, but it doesn't bother me that it has a, a, a pretty good hold because my beard doesn't go anywhere anyways. It's uh, not long enough. It's it's stuck pretty much the way it is, so. Nineteen twelve. It's amazing. I love it. Um, it's got good ingredients. It's got a whole slew of carrier oils. It's got almond oil, avocado oil, rice bran oil, hazelnut oil, hemp seed, apricot, castor, grape seed, jojoba, Argan, yeah, I said Jojoba. I speak American English. My brother's middle name is Joe. Um, it's spelled J O, so I figured J O is pronounced Joe. I'm gonna call it Jojoba. Argan, vitamin E, and some luxurious essential oil blends. This stuff is fantastic. I recommend it to everybody. Um, I haven't met one person that didn't like it. So, uh, there you guys go. That's that's what I got for you for the luxurious bastard. I hit them up. Go to the website. Very decently priced. Very good price. Fifteen bucks, pretty much across the board. There's a one or two in there I think that are uh, eighteen bucks, but um, it's well worth it. Um, I use it quite often. And uh, thanks for stopping by.